did you know that legal slavery exists in the USA right now? Here's a little known fact. The 13th Amendment didn't abolish slavery, only restricted it. The amendment says, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States. In other words, no slavery, unless you're convicted of a crime. That exception created a dangerous loophole. See, before the Civil War, the Southern states depended on slaves. They needed free human labor to stay afloat. So after emancipation, they had to change. But it was so much easier to just find new ways to get slave labor. So what did they do? They passed all sorts of laws criminalizing things like vagrancy, the use of obscene language, and even just being unemployed. And who was arrested for these newly invented crimes? Almost exclusively African-American former slaves. Then, under the convict lease system, those former slaves were leased out to companies and forced to work for free. Some were even returned to the same plantations where they had worked before as slaves. It was the same old slavery, just repackaged to fit within the bounds of the 13th Amendment. Fast forward to the present, and here's the kicker. Little has changed. The system and the law remain the same. Many Americans will tell you that the U.S. got rid of slavery in the 1860s. But the truth is that legalized, constitutionally ratified slavery is an $80 billion industry in the United States today. Taba Foundation students behind bars report being paid just pennies per hour for high-impact jobs like manufacturing, sometimes without proper workplace safety measures in place. And for a lot of prisoners, there's no option to refuse the work. In some states, it's even legal to force prisoners to work for free under threat of solitary confinement. Meanwhile, Core Civic, just one of the many companies that operate private prisons and detention centers in this broken system, brings in nearly $2 billion a year in revenue off those prisoners and their labor. Prisons being so profitable, it's no wonder the U.S. has more prisoners than any other country and imprisons its citizens at a higher rate than any other nation. The only country possibly on par with America's incarceration rate? North Korea. These insane numbers are driven by equally insane policies that lock up the mentally ill instead of treating them, penalize low-level criminals with extreme, disproportionate sentences, and even end up putting far too many innocents behind bars unjustly. All subjects we'll be exploring in future videos. In the meantime, we at Taba Foundation serve incarcerated Muslims, one of the most underserved prison populations, and most of them converts to the faith. Want to get educated on the U.S. prison system and the Muslims inside it? Check out the link in the description below to sign up for our email series. To support our work, head to tabafoundation.org. And if you are looking for similar marketing animated video, place your order now and get your video done.